This is the algebra skills review section uh, for chapter number eight, and it is solving systems of equations. To solve a system of equation, equations using substitution, we're going to use two methods. First one, substitution. You first get one letter in one equation alone. Then you substitute that expression for that letter into the other equation. Solve for the remaining letter by getting it alone. Substitute that value for that letter into any equation that has those two variables in it. And then solve for the remaining letter by getting it alone. So you can see how I put in red these words. Alone, substitute, alone, substitute, alone. Those are the five steps to solve a system of equations using substitution. So those are two equations, and we want to find the x and the y value that will make the first equation be true and also make the second equation be true. So the first step, you have to get one letter in one equation alone. So I'm going to get the x alone. So I took this over here, and I said let's leave x on the left-hand side and move the 5y over so it's positive and then plus 2. Then I'm going to substitute that expression, 5y plus 2, into the other equation, wherever I see an x. So here is this equation now, but wherever I see the x, here, I'm going to put in x's new name, which is this. So there I put it in, in parentheses, and now I work to get the y value alone. So I distribute the 3, so I get 15y plus 6 minus 11y equals 2. Combine my terms, the 15y minus 11y can become the 4y plus 6 equals 2. Subtract 6 from both sides, and then divide by 4, and I have y is equal to a negative 1. So I had a loan, substitute, a loan, and now my next step is substitute again. So to substitute, I'm going to take that y value of negative 1 and put it into any expression that has a y in it. So this is the one that was chosen. So x minus 5 times y's new name of a negative 1 is equal to 2. And now get that x alone. So x plus 5 is equal to 2. Subtract 5 from both sides. x is a negative 3. So negative 3, negative 1 is the solution to the system of equations. So I put a negative 3 in here, and a negative 1 in for y, a negative 3 in for x, a negative 1 for y, and I should get a true expression. So this would be negative 9, and this would be a positive 11. Negative 9 plus 11 would be 2. This would be negative 3, and this would be plus 5, and yep, that would be a 2 also. The other way that you can solve a system of equations is by using elimination. So you line up the equations so that like terms are on top of each other. The x's are on top of the x's, the y's are on top of the y's, the equal signs are on top of the equal signs, and the plane numbers are, equal to, are on top of the plane numbers. Step two, multiply one or both equations by a number so that one set of letters are opposites, if they're not already opposites. Add the two equations, because if you have opposite letters, those letters will drop out, and then you'll just have an equation with one letter in it, which you can then solve. And then once you know that letter, the value of that letter, substitute that value for that letter into any equation that has the two letters in it, and solve for the remaining letter. So, here are the two equations that we have, and we decided to get the x's to be opposites of each other. So multiply each term by 3 in this first equation so that the 4x becomes a 12x. So when I multiply this by 3, I get 12x minus 9y equals 33, so that's over here. And then to get the second equation to have a negative 12, I multiply everything by a negative 4. So negative 4 times 3 would give me the negative 12x. Negative 4 times a negative 5 would give me a positive 20y. 
negative 4 times a negative 11 would give me a positive 44. Now that I have opposite x's, add the two equations together, the x's drop out. This becomes 11y, and this becomes 77. Divide to get y alone, I have y is 7. Substitute that into any equation that has an x and a y in it, so I chose the first one. 4x minus 3 times 7 is equal to 11, that's a negative 21. Whoops, add 21 to both sides, I get 4x is equal to 32. Divide by 4, x is equal to 8. So therefore the answer is that x of 8 and a y of 7 will make both of those equations be true. Okay, then we have the strange ones. So, get the y alone, so I guess we're going to use some substitution here. So if I get the y alone, in this equation here, y stays where it is, negative 2x on the right-hand side, plus 3. Substitute that into the other equation for y, and you get 4x plus 2 times y's new name of negative 2x plus 3 is equal to 8. Okay, get the um, letter x alone, so I distribute here. So 4x minus 4x plus 6 is equal to 8. And now if I solve this to get x alone, look what happens. Those drop out. There is 0. And I'm left with 6 equals 8. So I lost my letters. I ended up with a false statement of 6 equals 8. This means that there's no solution to this system of equations. Okay, here's the last slide on the last weird uh, example. There's two weird examples. Okay, for this one, I'm going to get the y alone. So take that first equation again, move the 2x over, it becomes a negative 2x. Substitute that into the other equation for y. So 4x plus 2 times y's new name of negative 2x plus 3 is equal to 6. Distribute to get the letter x alone. So I get 4x minus 4x plus 6 equals 6. And look what happens. These drop out, there is 0, I get 6 is equal to 6. So again, I lost my letters. I ended up with a true statement of 6 equals 6. So this means that there are many solutions to this system of equations. So that is a quick review of solving a system of equations for the end of chapter 8.